Hey y'all, this is me, Nisi Lynn. This is the 16th of September. This is floss tube, I haven't a clue. This is my morning of going absolutely nuts. The girls have been here this week. Um, we've been to see Mama and decorate for her room for fall. We had grandparents day. Um, I went to the dentist. That was a harrowing experience. Um, so it's been all the things this week. So I didn't get a lot of stitching done. But I wanted to finish that little stocking by hand, right? Uh, the one that's called Sampler House. Yes. It's called a Sampler House. This is my working copy of it. Um, I, it. You know, I finished it last week and I wanted to do a tutorial hand finishing it. So I thought I'm gonna do that this morning. I'll show what I've been working on, which isn't a lot. And so I had like two, two whips. And then while we're visiting, I will hand finish that stocking and go through the steps. Except I could not find the stocking anywhere. Nowhere. Nowhere. I took this house apart. I looked in every project bag uh, that I had this used. This I was like, what in the world is going on here? What in the world is going on here? Now I knew I had had it earlier in the week because I used some of the thread out of it on at first Cox Crow because that's the one that mainly I worked on this week, right? So I knew that I had had it because these are the colors. These are the colors that go with this other one. Oh, I dropped them both in this bag while I was in a panic. These are the colors that went with the sampler house stocking. And um, Debbie had sent me this Mrs. Thread, Mrs. Sedesimas Thread. And I was going to use it for the tombstones on At First Cox Crow. So I pulled it over to the side and used it on my At First Cox Crow, which um, we've talked before is in the sister's book by Blackbird. This is it, the way they charted it and stitched it. And this is my stitchy chair, by the way, y'all. Um, I had to just sit down after uh, after my defeat with the thing. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you. So this is the main one I worked on. Now, I did change up all the colors on mine, but I didn't um, have a color that I really liked for the stocking. Because this one is this gray green, 3787. And then there is a 3021, it's a gray brown. And then I had been using violet and blue by um, Wicked Stepmother, but it really is violet. And I mean, it's got a violet tint to it. So I didn't want to use it for my tombstone. So I thought, oh, I'll grab that Mrs. Thread that Debbie sent me and I will use it. And it will be perfect. Now, I made this this week. Now, this is why I'm out of order here. I made this this week. It's just a little project board. Patty had made me a smaller one before. That's just an old piece of James Williams shirt. It's just some blue bias, you know, bias tape and a piece of cotton batting on the front because it will kind of hold on to your pieces. So I thought, you know what that'd be? For especially small pieces, this will work great because it'll kind of hold them up and stick them on. So as you can see, I did, I got, I think I had part of my little bird done here or something, but anyway. So I got my three tombstones and my dirt all mounded up there. So this piece is so cute and I think I've got it kind of graphed out where I can have it finished for Halloween. I'll have it finished right before Halloween 
if everything goes as planned. Ha ha. But I'm loving working on it. It is, um, y'all, when I tell y'all I'm a wreck, It's a piece of 32 count something. I'm a wreck. Just bear with me. So anyway, that was the main thing I worked on this week. So I knew I'd had the little stocking because I had the threads. And I'm, and like I said, I've had the girls here. So, you know, that does kind of, um, you know, I try to keep things, I put things up higher in different places so it doesn't get because they do love to craft and we're always doing some kind of little project around here. And so I thought, you know, I always do try to put things in, in my sewing room, on my drafting table or like this. Um, so the chances that I had put it somewhere else were very likely. But y'all, I tore this place apart. Literally looked for an hour and a half for this tiny piece of fabric with a stocking on it. And if I can swing y'all this way a little bit, you can see over there, I had all the junk out on the counter for us to do this tutorial. And then I can't find the stitched piece. Where the heck is it? Where could it be? Where did it go? I have been going nuts. Can't find it anywhere. The other piece I worked on this week is my button button by Brenda Gervais. Y'all, I am shook. So um, I did just a little bit more on the border here a bit. Just a little bit here and then this weekend I'll just go down this side. So I've got, I think, a little flower left over here and then, like this, the girls and I were watching them up in the trees last night, and mine really are this color. This, right at the bottom of their breast is like a real pale peach, nearly a white. Then this is super rusty red, and their heads and their bodies are just a bright blue. They're so beautiful. The girls and I were in the pool last night watching them, and, um, we had to get out the binoculars even because there was one at the top of the tree. So this one just got a little bit of love this week, but I'm going to work on him this weekend. But this morning, I could not for the life of me find, find it. And I don't even know where the chart for that one is. It's Button Button by Brenda Gervais. It, um, as some of y'all have said, it's hard to find it on, in your shops. You haven't had a lot of luck finding it in your shops, but it is on her Country Stitches Online. That is her website store, and it is there. So if you're looking for it, you can go there and get it. Um, uh, I have a lot, like I said, I got contacted by a lot of y'all that your shops didn't have it. But it is there if you want it. You can go order it off Country Stitches online. But back to the stocking. I told y'all I made this this week. And this is sitting on top of this like this all morning. While I have been running around trying to figure out where the stocking could be. Where is the stitch piece to turn into the stocking? What could I have done with it? Why can't I find it? I have looked in every bag. I'm like losing my mind. I finally gave up and said, you know what? I'm just gonna go video and admit the insanity that is my life and that I have lost a stitch piece in a matter of two days. Y'all, like I said, these were sitting here like this. It was under that clipboard the entire time. Now, I flipped through the pieces because there's a couple of working copies that I want to do next that I have here under this one. 
So I had them on here and I flipped through them so it wasn't stuck under them on the clipboard. Nope. It was right there. Y'all, I may not be okay. I don't know. I have my doubts at this point. Seriously have my doubts. What in the world is going on? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We had a, the girls have been great. We've had a great time. Uh, we like I said we went to see mommy yesterday and decorated um, for her for fall. And um, now does some of it need to be moved around a little bit more? Yes. But of course she was tickle pink. We got there and we were going to surprise her. I didn't tell her we were coming. So we check in, you know, at the desk. You have to take your temperature and everything. And we go down the hallway, and I asked the lady at the desk, I said, they're not already in the dining room for dinner, are they? And she said, no. So we go all the way to the back corner of the place where Mimi's room is, and they're knocking on the door, Mimi, Mimi, Mimi. Y'all, and she's not coming to the door. And Aria has the patience of like a copperhead, okay? None, none, zero zilch. And she says, Shook, why isn't Mimi answering the door to let us in? I said, baby, maybe she's in the bathroom. Give her a minute. Bam, 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 bam. Mimi, it's us. Mimi, we have surprises for you. <laughs> Lord have mercy. So I, I said, y'all, baby Mimi's asleep. Let's call her on the phone. So we call her on the phone. Well, sure enough, she was down like at the dining room area, they were doing something. I don't know. They weren't eating, but they were doing something down there. So she wasn't in her room. So she had to walk back. But that's why she wasn't answering the door and offending our, all the pieces. Because she was down there in the dining room doing something. But she was so excited to see the girls. And so I let the girls do the decorating. And they made a little pumpkin, whether we made pumpkins this week and Aria took one to her teacher and I didn't grab my iPad over here. We made them out of um, socks. I found some cable knit socks at the resale. Patty, please don't knock everything over. We've already had that kind of a day. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? So we found some cable knit socks that were tan and uh, white and brown. I didn't find any orange ones and I didn't take the time to dye them. But that, so we just cut it off, top and bottom, and then stitched the top, one of the ends together and pulled it tight, stuffed it full of stuff, and then turned it wrong side out, right side out, and then stuffed it full of stuffing and then stitched the other end and then went around it and around it and made a little stem like that. So um, they wanted to make some, they wanted to show Mimi how to do it. So. We got over there and there Aria's putting mama through her paces making this pumpkin, okay? And they got three done while we were there and Kimi was decorating, doing the decorating herself and I was helping tie thread off and things. So, um, and doing, helping Kimi with the bigger things, but she wanted to do it all herself. So we took the big, I have like a five foot birch tree that's fake birch tree that lights up. You get, came from Hobby Lobby. James Williams thought the girls needed it one time and got it. So we took it over there and they had got, at the dollar spot at Target, they had little, it was a little wood disc and it had a bead and had some jute and a little jute fringe in it. And it had a little stencil and you stenciled a pumpkin on there. And so I got five of them and then they stenciled one for Kimi and Aria and Dax and Dusk and Catch. And then they decorated around the edges and painted them and everything. And then they wrote their names on them. So they wanted, we're going to hang those on the little tree in mama's room. And so they got that done. We got in the corner, put it in the little basket and put her a new wreath on the door. And, um, I mean, just all the things. So they, they had a great time with her. And then 
we come home, we eat dinner, we play outside. And y'all know, I tell y'all, I sleep like a dead person. Like literally, completely like a dead person. I got up this morning and at 10.36, my mama had called me and I'd missed it. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I call her back and I'm like, mom, are you okay? What's going on? It was nothing. She just wanted to ask me if we were coming for some kind of little fair thing they're having. And of course, she's getting to where she, you know, doesn't think about it's day or night, you know, calling like this. If she's awake, you know. So um, I was like, thank you, Jesus. Scared me to death. So... She was okay, though. So, we've already talked to her this morning. We had Grandparents Day yesterday. Um, I went to the, like I said, I went to the dentist. Got bad news at the dentist. Um, I'm going to have to go back and have a deep cleaning next week. I have some kind of bone loss or something. She said, it's not common. It's not uncommon for someone with um, autoimmune disorders. I'm like, well, yay. Whatever. So, I did not get started on my Miss Sarah Lockhart but I did pull the fabric and the threads. I tell you all the time to look at your stores, at your, at your LNSs, they'll have a little bin usually that has small pieces. This one was in there, it's a 32 count nine by nine cream. That's what I'm using for this. It was a couple of bucks. Was it $10? Yeah, $10. I think it was less than that even, maybe it was half price of that. But anywho, but anyway, I. I like these uh, if I want to try a different count or a different color than I usually use. These are great little pieces to grab and try and see. So I just pulled, um, I have my beautiful Siggy's Closet. Little thread bling on there, so pretty. And then I've got 814, 321, 733, 319, 3768 and 3371. So it'll be, well, my red isn't showing very much, but there we go, maybe. It'll be like these colors on here. And I like that. And it's very much the same colorway as my other piece. So this will be another grandparent piece, great grandparent piece. So I did get my thread pulled for that. That's it. But I did get my thread pulled. I got, and I didn't show y'all my haul the other day. I also got this beautiful note from Julie. She just got back from the beach. She said she was looking for the girls and Mike and them in the airport. Y'all already pretty, probably been there pretty close at the same time. I think they fly American though. She said they were on Southwest. We fly Southwest a lot, but I think Justin's miles are all on, and Micah's um, are on American. So I think they usually fly American Airlines. So that, they were probably on that airlines. But um, I got all this in the mail and I did not show it. And then I'm gonna, I did my two whips this week, that's all I had. I pulled that thread for that start. I made that little project board this week, which is just a piece of foam cardboard with the batting glued on one side, the fabric glued on the other, and then just glued the bias tape around the edge. So that works great. Um, Aria did leave me this also. It's about growing up and it's a little tree. So you have your seed and your little sapling, and then it gets a little bigger here, and then it bears fruit here. So that was one of her things this week. So we've had all the fun with them here. But I got this. I told y'all this was one of my favorite things to, um, I don't think I've showed y'all these. This is a Bent Creek. Have I showed these? I do. The Bent Creek I do. I thought the camera cut off the week I was doing these and I didn't get to. This is I Do by Bent Creek. I stink and love this. I've had it forever and I think I loaned it or lost it or, um, I think I may have kitted it up for my mama actually because she was wanting to try to stitch again and it's real easy to read and it's not huge and I think I kitted it up for her so it's probably in some of the stuff I brought from her house in the garage but I just ordered myself another one because I have stitched this three or four times for people it stitches up fast 
It goes with any kind of decor. So you can just change, like I've done it on Fiddler's Cloth. I've done it on linen. I've done it, you know, several different ways to make it look a little more rustic or a little dressier like that. So it's super versatile. I got um, the drawn thread deck the halls because of course the cardinals. Look at the beautiful cardinals. I can't wait to stitch this. I uh, stinking love them. And you can see there's a little close up of one of them here on the back. So cute. So I can't wait to get these guys stitched for Christmas because that makes me super happy. I ordered Deck the Halls from Blackbird because I want to do some of these little strawberries. They're, and they're so cute and there's all kind of ones in here. Patty, please don't jump up here and knock something over. Oh, you stress me out, Patty. And y'all, poor Patty. When we went to the resale store to get, to look for the socks, Kimi was with me. We went while Aria had tumbling class. And she sees this little harness that's really for a dog, a small dog. But she gets it and she wants, she don't determine she's gonna get Patty to walk on a leash with this harness. Girl, she works on it all evening. What, I know it was traumatic for you, wasn't it? It was so traumatic for you. Yeah, I'm talking about you. It was so traumatic. So she worked on her out there in the yard forever trying to get her to do that. But these are a beautiful little, look at that. My grandma and my mama can grow Christmas cactus. I cannot ever grow Christmas cactus good. I don't know why, it's not my gift. So I cannot, I wanna do some of these super bad. And then I got um, at the Joann's one day, I was in the Joann's and I grabbed the uh, Halloween issue of the Just Cross Stitch. Some of these are fabulous. This witch girl right here, so pretty. There were several things on here that I thought, oh man, that's fabulous. I think, I don't know if I can open it up the back. I don't know, yeah. So here, they may be too small for y'all to see. But I had to get this one because you see there is a, a hedgehog with his little barrel of candy corns. And then there is on 75, I think was this sampler that I thought was so pretty. It's by Pickle Barrel, which I've done several of their designs and I've always liked them. Super cute. Super, super cute. Um, I don't think, no over one, and I don't see any half stitches, so. And it has little zombie faces and jack-o'-lanterns and spiders and ghosties and a black cat and a little scary fence. I mean, it's just got all the things. So it says it's the ghost story sampler and it is too cute, too cute. And then of course I had to pick up because I need to renew. I haven't renewed yet. This girl by Barbara Anna. Oh, go over that way, there we go, love her. Um, okay, that one's just a punch needle one, so it's not a chart chart. It's, well, I guess it is, it is the, I thought it was just a color key, but I guess it's a pattern for tracing on there. You could see a little bit of that maybe, I hope not. Um, and it's by Teresa, it's beautiful. It's Old Glory, um, then there is There was one other one I had it marked in here. Ugh. And of course now I can't find it because I'm looking for it. Uh, Kitten Stitcher has a beautiful little needle book on there. But of course I can't find what I had pulled it out for. Oh, Vonna has a drum tutorial in here. 
Anne makes mine so beautifully, and I've done a couple mine are not anywhere near as nice as Anne's, but Vonna takes you through step by step. Oh, the summer bees, I think, was I thought was beautiful, and this must have been the summer bees that I had my book in here. It is so pretty. So there's several things in all of these, but I don't think I showed y'all those. And then somebody asked if I would show my, this is my Blackbirds casting spell box. And um, I have a tutorial because I changed mine because I could not fight the fight of the jello boxes. So mine are like this and like this. So there's a little magnet. And then this is just on a piece of mat board. Yeah, that was much easier for me. Once I went back and did it that way, I was like, thank you, Lord. And now, so these are higher. See, those are on the flat on the back but these are higher out, just like they would be on the Jello box. But I couldn't get my Jello boxes to look nice on the edges and the square and there. It was just bad business. So, um, there is a tutorial on last year sometime for that, for doing that. But I don't know if I will get the stocking tutorial made this afternoon since I did the stocking found it, where I'd put it. Um, I don't know, y'all. I don't know if, um, and Daddy did go back and they did a scan. We got a great report on that yesterday. So thank you for all your prayers and thoughts and good juju because we did get a very good report. It had shrunk considerably and they will want to do treatments for, if he still keeps tolerating them, they want to do treatments for another year. That will put him in um, what they're going to consider durable remission. Um, they did use the word remission yesterday because it had such significant shrinking and it got so much thinner. So that was fabulous. But he said he'd want him to keep on treatments. Um, the year of treatments, um, because we are stage four lung cancer, um, and it is from his face cancer. So please wear your sunscreen in your hat. But it, um, it will, um, the durable remission on it is five to eight years, you know, is best uh, scenario. Uh, Daddy's 78, and we'd like to keep him until he's like 178. So we're gonna do everything we can. He has been doing everything he can. He will be retiring in November. Um, he has, um, he worked for the, for Ford and Chrysler and them when I was a little bitty, but by the time I was in school or anything, he worked for um, the Sheriff's Department. He's always been in law enforcement since I was any size at all. So uh, he has worked for seven sheriffs and he will be retiring this, this fall. So that's gonna be a big adjustment. Um, I hope he likes it. We'll see. He, I mean, he still has his tractor business and stuff. He does tractor mowing and like that. So, but I have to pick up the girls this afternoon. Or let me say, I get to pick up the girls this afternoon. Um, I am very fortunate in that and that they can stay here when uh, Mike and Justin go down. Justin's doing some work at his parents' house while they're in Italy, and he none none of them felt 100% when they got back from Disney. But it was just a cold they tested. They wasn't COVID. But um, he ended up having, and he got stung by two wasps, like bam, bam, back to back. And he has a terrible reaction to things uh, stinging him and biting him. So he went and they got it, gave him a shot and gave him a steroid pack. But I think going down there and ripping out carpet and all that, that dust and all that stuff, along with just having been stung and uh, is just too much. So he was sick. 
So um, the girls came to stay with us so Micah could go down and help him and keep an eye on him. Now, mind you, they are still working, taking their phone calls and building their websites and all the things they do while they're doing this other, you know, at the same time. But we were really worried about him and I've just, I said, please just go down there and take care of him. We'll, you know, leave the girls with me and because I, I'm worried. So she went down there and they've been working and getting a lot done and I think they'll be back today. So the girls have been here keeping us company and it has been, y'all, they're a hoot. They are just a hoot. Uh, you forget how funny it is and how fun it is to get them ready and this morning, I think everything's going smoothly. Aria's getting dressed, and all I need for her to do is then is brush her teeth. And so, I had extra time. So, I did braid Kimmy's hair back here, and then braided it together into one down the back, and then she wanted the rest down, like from, you know, over, like here down, and all hanging down in the back. But I had extra time, so she, like, wanted to know if I would straighten it. So, I straightened it, which I'm not good at, but I did it. And... So I hollered at Ari, I said, baby, you gotta come brush your teeth. And she didn't answer, so I go look for her. I walk into my bedroom, and she's on the bed, and she's crying. I said, baby, what's wrong with you? She was on the like this shirt. It's itchy. I said, baby, then why you got it on? It's the only one I have. She's just bawling. I said, baby, your mama sent shirts over here, and their shirts still here. There's always some of your shirts here. Why are you crying? We're going to find you. I looked at a ball. She's ruined. Ruined. So we go in there and go through literally every shirt she brought. Every shirt I have here. We went back to the second shirt that I recommended after looking at all the others. But y'all, I'm telling you, being a kid nowadays is not easy. Because I said, well, what about this one? You love this shirt. I can't wear it because the sleeves aren't long enough. Evidently, there's something about a deltoid that can't be seen, I don't know, even in kindergarten. So if you can't have just a little cap sleeve or something, it has to be a certain, so the first one that she, she liked, I knew she liked, but she couldn't wear it because it had a cap sleeve. Well, then this other one I knew she liked, she said, that's a tank top shirt, I can't wear that. I said, oh Lord, have mercy. In kindergarten, I'm sorry, all the way through school. If there's something so wrong with you that if you see somebody's deltoid, you lose your mind, you don't need to be in public schooling. There, You need to be in a special school, special place. You probably need to not just be in a special school. You're going to have to stay in a special place your entire life because evidently seeing someone's deltoid push you over the edge. I don't know. I don't understand these things. It is the top of your arm. I got nothing for it. I got nothing for it. Y'all know, I think the world would be a better place if everybody had to walk around naked. If everybody had to walk around naked, everybody would shut up. Everybody would shut up and get on about their business. But we spend so much time obsessing about what somebody's got on and what somebody's wearing I can't with it. But we finally found a shirt and got her a shirt on she could wear and got her situated, got her teeth brushed and got them loaded up. And we, we weren't late going to school. So, you know, that was a good thing. But being a kid is stressful nowadays. And Kimi and them having that active shooter drill was nearly too much for her. Yes, and I'm like you, Julie White can't be called a code zero, a code red, a something. Why we have to say active shooter, I don't know. But evidently we do. Being a kid nowadays is very stressful. But anywho, I'm going to jump off here. It'll be super short today. Um, I'm so shook I'm not even going to try to tackle questions and comments or anything else. So if you didn't get to watch last week's video, there are all the shares I will still... I won't draw for those until right before next week. So if you didn't watch last week's or comment um, on them, and I didn't hear from everybody from the week before, I think Carla and Linda 
went already, or well, they're over there in the envelope to go to the mailbox. So um, if you watched last week, you, you made your name bait, because I didn't tag everybody. So just listen for your name in the shares and also. I am going to get off of here and try to sit here and stitch for a few minutes and get my brain right from the hiding stocking stitch and see if I can get myself together in a little bit and get over there and do that little tutorial before I have to pick the girls up. Before I get to pick the girls up. So y'all have a happy Friday and um, be sure and look under things. I never thought to pick that clipboard up, y'all. It was right where it should have been. I don't know. Have a happy Friday. Enjoy your stitching and have a great weekend. Bye, y'all.